Hello, my name is Mark Dolinar. I'm an applications engineer here with Hawk Ridge Systems, and today we're going to be going over how we can apply custom appearances to your parts and assemblies inside of SolidWorks. Now, by default, SolidWorks actually ships with over 500 different appearances, which you can find directly from the task pane in your Appearances, Scenes, and Decals tab. Inside of this tab, you can go ahead and search through all of the stock appearances and simply drag and drop those appearances directly onto a face, a feature, or a body to automatically apply that directly to your part. However, in some certain scenarios, the custom appearances that come directly from SolidWorks will not be enough to accurately describe your particular design. In my case, I'm actually working with this axe, and I want to have some sort of a weathered appearance applied directly to the axe head. Now, I could come through here, find some sort of a metal, maybe a steel or chrome, and try to apply appearance this way. However, it's not going to give me the look that I'm really after. Instead of using those stock appearances that come directly from SolidWorks, I'm actually going to go through and apply my own appearance. Now, before you get started, what you're going to need to do is either take a picture of an appearance which you would like to apply, or simply search on Google for one of these appearances. Once you have that appearance saved directly to your computer, you're going to go ahead and jump to your Display Manager tab, and right-click any place underneath your appearances to add a new appearance. Now, by default, you'll actually go ahead and be open directly in your Basics tab, we're going to need to jump to our advanced tab and then our color image option in order to apply a brand new appearance. From here, we'll go directly into our appearance area and browse for our particular file. Now, in my case, I've actually saved this as a JPEG file. So we'll go ahead and find my rusted appearance and open it up. When I do this, SOLIDWORKS is going to bring up a brand new menu asking us to save out our Rust appearance. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename it Rust, and we'll notice that the file extension is actually a P2M. I'll go ahead and push Save, and SOLIDWORKS will automatically open up a brand new window asking us whether or not we would like to add this particular file location directly to our appearances library. I'm going to assume I'm going to use this appearance more often than not, so we'll go ahead and push yes here. And when I do, inside of my appearances library, there should be a brand new folder that appears. In my case, it's just my downloads folder, which will now house that brand new appearance. And we'll now have that custom appearance applied directly to our object. Now from here, we can continue on modeling, or we can even put our particular piece into a photorealistic renderer, such as PhotoView 360 or Visualize, to take our particular design to the next level. However, with this, we now have added our brand new appearance directly into SolidWorks, and we should be good to go. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube page for more educational content such as this.